do you think? Don't know. These Somerset lanes are all the same. Not lost, are we? We seem to have been going for hours. can't see our location at all. Well, here's where we started. Porlock. Funny, it was so hot in that lane. It feels kind of weird. Gosh. Gosh. The gibbet tree. On this tree, local miscreants were hung. The last recorded hanging was in 1870, when four wreckers met their end here. No wonder it feels weird. It's nearly a hundred years ago. Poor wreckers. Poor wreckers. They load chips upon the rocks, using lights to make them think it was a harbour. Hmm. And as for the survivors... Oh, that's horrid. Times were hard there, man. Let's get away from here. This way. I think I know where we are now. Gibbon Corner's marked on the map. We've just passed watching. Sort of name. Do you mean Jan? Yes, Jan. Oh. Hey, not the lot. Energy <sighs> balls, my favourite. Are you hungry? It's all right. We won't take them back. Not after he's sucked. Jan or Jan? Do you know the way to Tremannan Farm? Well, be careful. You might choke. That way, on the way to Roadwater. Oh, how disgusting. Well, straight on, is it? Thanks, Jan. Welcome to Tremannan Farm, my dears. Lovely weather for a holiday. How do you do? Mrs. Penwithman, isn't it? It is. My, you look hot. We are rather thirsty too, I reckon. Prop your bikes over there for now and come you into the cool. I've some nice cool lemonade waiting on you and then a lovely tea all ready for when you're washed and tied it. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Gibbet tree. Nasty place that is. Very ghosty. But then the wreckers, they did nasty things. You reap what you sow, my dears. You reap what you sow. <coughs> ah! That'll be Mr. Penrothlin. Hello, my dear. The children are safely here. 
Good afternoon, Mr. Penrith Flynn. We're pleased you could have us to stay. Ah. They've seen the barn is in the lane, dear. Ah. <laughs> mm. Mrs. Penrith Flynn says they give a show here in your barn. Ah. We're very much looking forward to seeing them. Ah. We saw a pantomime oh. last year. It was. Mm. It's a house dog, dear. Properly trained. Belongs to George there. Ah. Uh -huh. That's right, dear. The girl in the shorts. Ah. Uh, mm. My husband is a man of few words. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh, very sorry. I didn't mean. Yes. Well, few words, but a great eater. Mm. I suppose you eat a lot because you're very big, Mr. Penroof, Len. Mm. Yes, dear. Isn't she a sweet little girl? Ah, mm. oh. I suppose they borrow these will clear the place for the show. I'll make a stage. Ah. Mm. Ah. <laughs> he must. Do you think he ever speaks? He must do sometimes. He's a man of few words. Oh. Timmy! Oh. Oh. oh, it's that boy again. Oh. Oh. Timmy, behave. Dogs like me. What are you doing here? Perhaps he wants another sweet. But it's my last one. <laughs> Haven't you got a home to go to? Indeed he has, of a sort. Jan, come here. Stop bothering the children. <laughs> Poor boy. <laughs> He's no kin, save his great granddad, and more than 70 years between them. <laughs> now, Jan, I've some cake left over from tea and a currant loaf you can take home. He'd think he'd never had a wash in his life. Explore these caves. I expect the sea flows right into the caves at high water. <laughs> it's more than likely. We must keep an eye on the tide. We'd have to climb the cliff if we were caught in it. I don't fancy that. I wonder if any ships have ever been wrecked in this cove. Dick, stop being gruesome. Eat your sandwich. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh. Tim, come here. I don't know. There! Dick, watch it. We've no torches. He must be here somewhere. I'm going to find him. Do come back. Yes, both of you, come back. Well, he's down there, that's for sure. OK, maybe so, but we're not looking for him. This cave could be filled when the tide comes in and we can't take any chances. Let's go. We've been here ages and the tide is definitely starting to come in. Look, those rocks were quite bare when we arrived.
can't wait to see your show. Well, we certainly need the audience. We always need an audience when we play this part. Why'd you come here, then? Oh, we can't keep doing the same act. And the governor doesn't like us trying out new material in front of a big audience. So once a year we use this barn as a sort of tryout. We also get to try out Mrs. Penruthland's rabbit pie. <laughs> <laughs> you look just great. Join us. You like dogs, eh? I've got a wonderful dog. What's his name? I'm sorry, Mr. The horse is called Clopper, and I'm called Sid. Uh, I'm Dick. <laughs> I'm Anne. Has Clopper got a body? Wouldn't be much use with that one, eh? <laughs> I'm in charge of the head, and Binks here looks after the body. The head's the thing, of course. Very precious, the head. An horse wouldn't be an horse without its head. I'm sure it wouldn't. <laughs> uh, please, can I try it on? Try? <laughs> Lord, no! The governor would have a fit. This head, mate, this head goes to bed with me. Gosh, how uncomfortable. I'm its guardian. Load of rubbish. What is it, eh? A dummy. That's all it is. Now, but a dummy. Hey, 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 hold on. Clopper is the best thing in the show. Thanks to us. Put it like this. He's the head and I'm the back parts. I do all the hard work, but he thinks he's cock of the walk because he's the head. Ask yourselves, what's an head? Well, it does have the brains. Brains? That mock-up. Put it like this. The horse wouldn't be anything without the head. No, it wouldn't. I mean, look. Look at this. <laughs> showing off. Whatever showing off. And across my legs and bow and kneel. <laughs> he thinks it's all his own idea. Put it like this. Of course. <laughs> Put it like this. I work out the ideas. I'm the crux of this act, because that's what it is, an act. What's going on? Stop messing with that, Eddie. You kids, get your hands off. Horses the best thing in this show. We don't want any accidents. Right, said you got your orders. Keep your eyes on that, Ed, or I'll have your guts oh. for God. Gosh. Pig. Pig? <laughs> I'd like to tell you what I call him. As I was saying. Put it like this. Uh, are you going to practice before the show? <laughs> of course. What do we watch? If you behave yourselves, we're going to have a go now. Sounds interesting. You could bring some of the aniseed balls and lemon sherbet. Grandad likes lemon sherbet. You don't, of course. Yeah, I do. I like the way the sherbet's got to say. about sweets for once. Where did you go in that cave? How did you get off the beach before the tide? I know a way. Up the cliff. Where, then? The wreckers' way. The wreckers? Oh, show us the way. I, I can't. My granddad said not to. I take it our granddad knows about the wreckers. Barley sugar. Do you like two? Now, about these wreckers. Come and see your granddad tomorrow, Jan. If we can find out about the wreckers' weight, we can go down, we can explore, oh, no. and we can. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they wreckers. Sherbet. Jan, hand over another of these suckers, boy. Ain't none left. Show your hands. Both together. Ah. You were saying the wreckers? Ah, not a nice lot, but poor folk with children to feed. I remember my old dad. I... He was one that set the false light burning. But there were six of us little ones and hardly a rag to our backs. Can you blame him? I don't know. I used to hold a lantern. Little lad I was, that bemused the ship. And I drowned, of course. Washing up like. Please don't say any more. Ah, well. 
Time's was hard. <laughs> That'll be the sherbet. <laughs> Where did you flash the false light from? Come. See yon tower? Yes. Ah, well, this is the only spot from the hills where you can see that tower. That's where they flashed the light. I saw it by chance one night when I was up here lambing. And that night, there was a ship on the rocks. It was the only one who ever saw it from Lambert. And I told no one. Not even my dad. Why didn't you tell anyone? Did I want my dad in jail? Oh dear, how awful for you. I wasn't comfortable, no. You must be jolly glad it's all in the past. Is it, though? What do you mean? Boy, that light flat is still. No! It do. On stormy nights, I've seen it with my own eyes. And always about this time of the year. And were there wrecks? None that I ever heard of. Maybe unlikely. There's a lighthouse now. I've seen the light too. Hold your tongue! You've got another of these suckers. Grandad, isn't there a secret way down to the cove? We heard it's called the Wreckers Way. Who told you that? Jan said you showed him. Showed him? I'll show him! Try some chocolate, Grandad. That was nothing about any secret way. <laughs> This light you've seen recently, could it have been lightning? I know lightning when I see it, young fellow, my lad. I saw that light when I was younger than you. And I seen it this year. And I doubt it was flashed by mortal hands. Oh, oh. Oh. Do you think it was true about that light? Well, there's only one way to find out. Wait for a stormy night and go and see it. lost him. But it was so dark. Well, I'm glad they lost them. Oh, Dick, look at that bruise. It needs something on it. Wow. What a beauty. All night. Jenny, the little mare, not well at all. Oh, poor thing. We are the bats in bodies. We can sing and we can dance and we can make you laugh. Last night, I seen it. Gosh, we missed it. Grandad says it'd blow again tonight.
light. You come, and I'll show you the light. See some sheep, I suppose. At this time of night. the light and why <laughs> someone's coming 